remember in previous video we created a blinky task with just blink the led we updated this task with the task resume and pause feature if you see in the previous code we will only be uh, blinking this led which uh, which is blue led uh, but in today's video we updated the code so we use the d3 pin to uh, suspend the task if you see the task is suspended and we can also resume with the button press again and if we apply a zero to this button the task will be resumed so this task handle could be used in various ways you can uh, suspend some task for uh, if something happened already or you can respond and resume the task if that task is needed in the future again this all is done with the task handle so let's get to the code and see how we do that the first thing that we will do in this is create an other pin to use as an input to suspend and resume the task which is a button pin and gpio 13 which is d13 on the uh, board esp32 board we will create two handles this time one is the just like the previous the led handle task handle and the second is control task handle this control task handle will be responsible for uh, t uh, suspending and resuming the led task this is the same previous led task handle uh, where we are just toggling the led we are using v task delay function to creating a, de a one second delay and uh, uh, one more thing i like to remind you from the previous video is that the v task delay function do not take the actual milliseconds instead it takes the number of ticks so to convert the millisecond to ticks we will divide that with this and port tick period ms will convert it into actual tick so you just put any number of the millisecond you want to handle that and after that you just have to divide it with this and it will automatically convert this to the milliseconds of the delay you required coming into the setup oh the one a digital pin for led is the same as output but the pin for button is input and pull up so we'll add a pull up from the software side so we don't need to add a pull up on the hardware side so it is just too easy uh, to test and we create the task the led task this is the same we created from the previous code and for the button control task we create another task and we'll name it the control task and we pass a control task hand uh, function and we will add pass a reference to for the control task handle and uh, then we pass a core number which is one in this case just to demonstrate for uh, running different tasks on different cores so in loop we don't need to do anything and uh, next thing is to check how we implement the control tasks to suspend and resume the task this is a simple control task where we are reading our digital read button pin and uh, we wait for a low edge on that button pin and once we are done with that we will create a simple loop we created a variable for is the task is already suspended and if the task is already suspended we will use the v task resume function and we pass a task handle and whenever we pass a task handle to v task resume function it will resume a suspended task and we'll simply serial dot print line the led task is resumed and we will put a false to the is suspended variable and otherwise we create a else command and we will use v task suspend just like the v task resume function and we will call that with our task handle we will call it with the led task handle and we 
will say to suspend the LED task handle and we will print that LED task is suspended and we put a true in a boolean variable of is suspended so that's how we can make use of over task handles and we can suspend or resume the task whatever we like thank you and see you in the